Let's kick off with the Express, Paul. Yes, the Express. Don't ruin our nation's day of remembrance. So this is uh, Tory MP Henry Smith has called for the military to be drafted in to keep the peace in London after it emerged pro-Palestinian protesters are organising a million-strong march on Remembrance Day. So, look, they want to win hearts and minds, these people. However, they're not going to if they go ahead with this. And if we've got any backbone left, mm. then we probably will say it's totally inappropriate and they should steer clear of certain places in London, and particularly the Cenotaph and places like that. This is only going to aggravate. This can add no value. I know why they would do it. They would do it purely because it was aggravating and get the maximum amount of eyeballs on this march. But if they want to win hearts and minds, which they keep saying they want to do, this is not the way to do it. They have never even heard them say that. I've just heard them say a load of kind of incredibly partisan, extreme well, things. Me too, actually, in earshot as I'm walking through central London. But the rhetoric that I read is that they want to win hearts and minds. Okay. There's no way of going about it. But the thing is, Nicholas, I mean, is this a sort of mockery of the, the values that these people died for, the people we celebrate on Remembrance Day? Or is it a celebration of those values because it's free speech, the right to protest? What do you think? Well, it's not like we have uh, any shortage of pro Palestinian marches, and there's 360. 65 days in a, in a year, we have different locations. Does it have to be on that specific day? And mind you, I think they are testing our, our resolve and they, are, they just want to hum humiliate the country that is hosting them. Uh, and what is interesting is that Met Police has assured, you know, the London Assembly that they will not get close to Senatav. But if it's going to be a one million march, it is, it is really uh, in, in doubt. And Met Police, to be fair, don't have a lot of cred credibility in terms of impartiality. They, they kneel with the BLM protesters, uh, they, they, they serve coffee and biscuits to um, Extension Rebellion uh, disruptors. And just as people were offended that these uh, pro-Hamas uh, demonstrators shouted jihad, jihad, they came with a statement, Met Police, saying jihad has different meanings. Well, apparently Met Police believe that policing has also different meanings because <laughs> a lot of people would argue what they have been doing is not policing. Great point. Yeah, I mean, of course, they don't have to do it on this day, but obviously they're choosing this day, so that it becomes how do you stop it? I mean, would you literally say, no, it can't be this day? Would you actually make that rule? So here's the problem. It's catch-22, really. If you do say no, then they'll see that as a victory in itself. But you're stopping free speech. All the free speech people, why are you stopping free speech? So my advice to anyone who's going to go from uh, a pro-remembrance Sunday perspective is not to get angry, not to clash. And I know there are people out there, particularly people who watch this channel, who will be overcome with emotion should this happen. But we, there is no way that the culture war of any kind can be won with violence. The only way it's going to be able to be won is with exposing the other side for what they are. Yeah, well, it's going to be a lot of flags for poor old Lawrence to remove, I'll say that. I mean, there's going to be, I mean, it, it does incense people, like draping flags over our monuments. I saw someone on Twitter saying, what's the big deal? Why are you obsessed with flags? It's like, well, if it's not a big deal, why are you going all the way up there and draping it on our monuments then? It yeah, seems yeah. to mean something to you. And it shows that you care about another flag more than the British flag. So that is a big statement. So I don't know. I mean, but it's this paradox of defending liberal values, isn't it? We have this with things like, it reminds me a little bit of, the government having to enforce free speech on campus. Like, is that a paradox to enforce free speech? I, I would also... I would think this was in very bad taste if it was on Eid and yeah. there was a... Uh, uh uh, an Islamic uh, monument somewhere. Yeah, it would be a perverse idea of free speech. It's like if you have booked a church to have a christening and I want to have my wedding in that church at the same time, at, uh, on the same day, and then say, oh, well, where's my freedom of uh, expression or my, where's my religious freedom? It's ridiculous. It doesn't make sense. No, I agree. Yeah, OK, fair enough. I mean, that's all... It's definitely in bad taste. My question is how can it actually be stopped? I don't think it really can. I, I don't think, think it's, it can. I think it's I mean, going to kick can, off. You, 